other dark side of me that I really struggled with was not being able to enforce my boundaries and giving people chance after chance after chance to be in my life despite the fact that their actions constantly proved that they were not kind or even cared about me. I once had a boyfriend uh, after I broke up with him, he came back and he was like, no, I really want you back. I'm embarrassed to admit that I did that about five or six times with him. And on the final one, I was like, no, it is not gonna work. This is toxic. It's, it's just not healthy. And I told him, look, I need someone who's consistently kind, tender, who brings peace to my life, who cares about me and whose actions reflect that. And he said, uh, I know that I have just been giving you lip service all this time and telling you what you've wanted to hear. But now I'm really, I've, I've sat down and I've written down what I really am willing to put in effort to give you. And this is what I'm, I'm this is what I'm willing to give you. And I was like, oh my God, you just admitted that you were bullshitting me this whole year. <sighs> I'm such a fool. Because I continued to let him disrespect my boundaries, he continued to do it. And he'd come back after that so kind and apologetic and sweet, of course, because he needed his fix of me. But I would give him another chance because I was codependent and felt bad that he felt bad. <laughs> He's a good man. He's just not a good man for me. And I wasn't a good woman for him because I wasn't enforcing my boundaries. And I would let him, I was teaching him that he could treat me that way. I was worried too much about showing him love and being the good person and giving him the love and not at all about whether I was being loved and being treated well. I completely just ignored my boundaries and did not enforce them until one day I did. And I'm so grateful. I hope never to be that way again.